How would you describe Malcolm Turnbull's contribution to the Liberal Party and the country? Underwhelming. And he certainly didn't fulfil his potential as Prime Minister. And, you know, his disastrous decision to go to an early, you know, and then to go to a double dissolution was the wrong decision. And I think, you know, the Australian public made that very clear in the election results. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks a lot. Nine months after ousting Tony Abbott, Turnbull called a double dissolution election. And it was an extended campaign. How are you? 55 days, the second longest in Australian history. There you go. What did you think of that 2016 campaign? Well, I thought that 2016 was a very disappointing result, but I mean, the campaign was too long. You've always got to have a program. You've always got to have something different about the future. Now, I don't think we had that in 2016. Malcolm is a great man and is a, has achieved a lot of things, but he does sometimes overcomplicate the situation. Politics is not that complicated. It's we're right, they're wrong. There is one thing for sure. The Labor Party is back. Yeah. Although the final results wouldn't be known for several days... Here comes the crusher. ..the Coalition's 14-seat majority was being shredded. This is a recipe for um, instability. When I look at this whole period of Liberal government, the turning point the pivot point is the 2016 election. Paul Kelly is editor at large for the Australian newspaper. Turnbull is shocked. He is profoundly shocked by this result. And this leads to this extraordinary event on election night. I was at the Wentworth Sheraton Hotel that night where the Liberal Party was. They were all waiting for Turnbull to appear. Turnbull is at home and he's waiting, he's waiting to get the results. And he keeps being told, it'll be clear soon, it'll be clear soon. In other words, our win will be clear. And of course, it's never quite clear. At the close of counting, the coalition had won 76 seats. It was enough to hold power, but with a wafer thin majority, just one seat. So by this stage, it's about midnight, and eventually he has to go to the hotel. He arrives too late, too unhappy. One of the paradoxes is he's won the election, but he acts as though he's lost the election. Based on the advice I have from the party officials, we can have every confidence that we will form a coalition majority government in the next parliament. It was an extraordinary night for Turnbull because it was his win, but the shock of the very, very narrow nature of that win left him very, very distraught, very upset and looking to blame other people. The Labor Party ran some of the most systematic, well-funded lies ever peddled in Australian politics. But as we all say, this sort of brutality often happens in Australian politics. The government mishandled this Labor attack. I mean, they completely underestimated the magnitude of the attack and the damage it was actually doing. Good morning. Good to see you. The Turnbull government ended up losing 14 seats. Do you remain confident much. in your leadership? Quite frankly, I think he should quit. He's taken this nation to an election on the basis of stability. He's delivered instability. The bloke is not up to the job. Turnbull's authority is profoundly weakened in the party. In a sense, he never recovers. And what happens is the Turnbull opponents in the party, the Abbott forces, the Conservatives, are strengthened against Turnbull. Today is not a day for speculation. It's a day for taking stock. It's not the end of the world, and people shouldn't start slitting their throats. Was Malcolm Turnbull shocked that he wasn't so electorally popular? Well, it appeared that way, didn't it? But what was clear is that that campaign had focused on issues that weren't the issues that mattered to the voters who got us over the line in 2013, and were going to give us a clear win in 2016. We, we, we didn't have that. Turnbull had no choice publicly but to cop it on the chin. Leaders lead. We have found the result disappointing. We accept the verdict of the people. I take full responsibility for the campaign, as a leader should. 
Now, elections are never easy. And when you win them, you celebrate them. Uh, when you lose them, well, you lick your wounds and you go away and you work how to win the next one. So a win's a win. And he bagged it. Perhaps he should have sounded like a winner on election night because it perhaps wasn't a good way to start a term. Well, you know, that's... That is a, a fair commentary. 